Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we showed you the advantage of using the source transformation method to take a circuit that looked like this to make, and make it look much simpler so it's easier to solve. Now, in the previous video, before this one, we already took the left portion of the circuit and changed it to this. We did it in two steps. We first changed this into a current source and then from the current source back to the voltage source. In each, in each case, we're able to simplify what looks like this into something that looks like this. And now, it is a lot easier to solve for the output voltage across that resistor. Notice that now all the components are in series with the voltage source. That was not the case over here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first, we'll find the total impedance. Z total is equal to, we have uh, 10 plus 4 plus 2.5, which is 16.5, and a minus J13 plus a J125, that would be minus J11.75. And let's go ahead and put that in magnitude and phase angle format. 16.5 squared out plus 11.75 squared equals, take the square root, that would be 20.256. I can't get my cap off here. All right, 20.256 with a phase angle of, it's a negative phase angle, 11.75 divided by 16.5, take the inverse tangent, minus 35.455. Okay, now that I have the impedance, now we can find the current to the circuit. The current I is going to be V over the impedance. So in this case, we have 11.18 with a phase angle of minus 63.435 degrees and divided by the impedance of 20.256 with a phase angle of minus 35.455 degrees. All right, so we have 11.18 divided by 20.256. That gives us 0 0.552 with a phase angle of, we have 63.435, and then add this, because we bring it to the top, plus 35.455. So we have a phase angle of minus 27.98. And now that we have the current through the circuit, now to get the voltage drop across here. So the voltage, in this case, would be equal to the uh, current I times the resistance from A to B. So in this case, that is equal to 0 0.552 with a phase angle of negative 27.98 degrees. Uh, probably just want to go like this. And we multiply that times 10 ohms. And so it becomes 5.52 with a phase angle of minus 27.98 degrees. And that would be the output voltage across the terminals from A to B. So you can see that there's definitely an advantage in using source transformation because that way we can take a circuit that looks much more complicated like this and turn it into something that looks a lot simpler. Is it the best method? Can you do it other ways? Of course, there's so many different ways in which you could solve that circuit. Any one of them would be a good method. But again, there's an advantage sometimes in using the source transformation. And this is one of those examples. Okay.